Hi, and welcome back to the Crafty Corner. So this is part two to the How Scary Was That video set. On the previous video, we created a super spooky and lit up Halloween tree. Now we need to stick that tree into its graveyard setting. And of course, we'll be creating this spooky graveyard with some of the brand new Tim Holtz ideology pieces. If you'd like to see which materials I'm going to be using for this spooky fun project, go ahead and pause here. All right, let's head over to the crafty corner. Now to start part two of the How Scary Was That Funky Junkie Inspiration Avenue theme. So we put together our main focal point in video one. Now we're going to assemble all the parts and pieces. If you saw the prequel beforehand, then you already know about all these super fun alterations that we have done. So we're going to start by setting the stage, quite literally. But first, we need to take care of some minor pre-electrical work. So on this board that we altered with some of the reptile embossing folder and a whole bunch of crypt paste, we need to drill a few holes in order to run some tiny lights. So let's go ahead and drill those holes. Let's see here. I think we want to go top down. So I'm going to have some little ghost lights in here, but we need a spot for those lights to pop out. So let's go ahead and drill. There, nice and easy. So that's one. Now let's get number two. And number three. So I also want a spot so that we can light up our cauldron. And that can go mm, about here. All right. Good. Nice and easy. All right. So the base is drilled. We've got spots for our lights to run. Now we need to build the rest of the base. And we're going to be mostly using hot glue. So for the rest of the base, I wanted to give this a little bit of a lift like a stage. And mostly I want to do this because we've got this amazing sparkly web piece. And I wanted that to be kind of coming off the front of our stage. So we're just going to take some hot glue. And I'm just going to run that along this piece. And we're just going to stick that right to the front. And we'll give that a couple of seconds to dry as we add our other pieces. So just running that line of hot glue. If we get glue ooze or anything, not a big deal. We can always go back in later with the heat tool. Okay, so we're just gonna try to line this up the best we can. I want that to be centered. That looks pretty good. Let's say about there. Okay, so just making sure that this is level. Excellent. And we definitely have a little bit of camouflaging I'll need to do on the top, but that's pretty easy. We can just go back in with a little bit of crypt paste and that will be nice and hidden. Now we're just gonna flip this over and I want to create a little bit of lift. So for lift, I am torn. I kind of want to do some bubbles for the lift, but I also could use some ideology corners as well. Let me see what the height is going to be if I add corners in, and if it doesn't work, then I will resort and add bubbles instead. Let's go ahead and try this with corners. It looks like this should be about the same height. Looks like it might be a little taller, that's good. So I'm just gonna add some glue on this and if it doesn't work, not a big deal. We can always peel it off and try something else. But I think the corners will look really nice. Okay, so I'll just stick that down right here. All right, let's do another on the other side. Hoping this works. It would be great if idea number one works out, but if not, that's okay. There are always more ideas to try out. But it's always kind of cool when your first idea works out best. All right, so yeah, I think I want to do it like that. Yep, 
corner to corner. That's going to work. Okay. And I've got this one. All right, lining up. It's pretty good. And number two for the back. All right, let's see how that is. So we're just gonna take this, we're gonna flip it. Ooh, I do like that. It works, I'll take it. So next I want to attach the backdrop. But first, we need to assemble it. So we're just gonna set this aside for the moment and we're going to bring in our other pieces. So over here, we have got this massive background to fill, but check this out. This cathedral piece is so creepy good. I love it. It's got some depth. It's like it really feels like you're walking right into a building. Just look at all that detail. That is so, so cool. All right, so we're gonna take this and we're going to stick this right onto the background. To do that, I'm going to be going in with some collage medium. Just gonna take some of that, scribble it on the back, and then stick this right onto our thick board base. Don't need too, too much. And I'm just gonna smoosh some of that out towards the edges with my finger, just to make sure that nothing is going to peel up. Okay. Just give that a quick turn and then we'll place that down. Good. All right, and this, we're just going to center that up. I'm gonna kind of move that as high as we can because part of this base is going to be hidden. And I am going to use the stage curtains to kind of extend the height just a little bit. Okay, good. Now we can add some collage medium to this piece. Again, just scribbling it on. Not going all the way to the top because I know that's going to be overhanging just a little bit. Okay, and we'll just stick that right here. A little bit of glue ooze, but not a big deal. There, just push that down. Make sure everything's going to stay in place. Ooh, I really do like the purple curtains on this with that little bit of metallic sheen. That is going to look wonderful. Okay, and let's take care of this side. A little bit more collage medium. Scribble, scribble. Okay. That looks good. And then we'll place this down. Now there will be a little bit of overlap, but that works out. Let's see here. I like that side better. So we'll put that one on top. Okay. There we go. Push that down, make sure everything is in place. Good. Definitely happy with this. So the last thing that I need to do will be to add these really, really cool grungy windows because I want this to have even more depth. And we're just going to place them right over like this. Now, is that correct? Yep, I think so. Okay. So for these, I'm not going to use the collage medium. These are thicker, so I want to use the hot glue gun instead. But first, I think we're going to attach this to our base. So let's go ahead and bring the base back. And I'm going to run a line of hot glue along this edge, and then we're going to stick this to that edge. And then we'll have to hold it a few seconds to make sure that the hot glue sets properly. All right. Let's get our hot glue. Ooh. Trying not to make too much of a mess here. All right, just moving that along the back. Good. All right, put the hot glue gun back so it can heat up a bit more. And we're gonna stand up our base. And I'm gonna take this and we're going to hold that on here. 
I just want to make sure that everything's going to set properly. Good. Okay. Making sure that there's good pressure. And the windows should add a little bit more stability. But if I need to, I have long pieces of the thick board that I can use in the back if I need to support this back panel more. But I think we are okay. Just turn that. So if I run another strand of glue right along here, that will add a little bit more reinforcement and that'd be a good thing. Okay. So we'll just take this, add that glue line. Good. And put the hot glue back. So we'll give that a moment or two to set. Now, if I absolutely need to, I have these pieces and I could stick them on right there until the back meets the base. That is definitely doable, but I'm hoping we won't need to. Okay. Let's see how that's doing. It's still tacky. Okay. So I'll need to wait a moment or two and then we'll come back and put wait the windows that on. base piece to finish drying a little bit. We can add a couple of end pieces that I had off to the side. So we have this little gap here, but you know what? That is easily fixed. I've got some pre-glittered pieces that are just going to slide right in. Okay. So we'll just stick that right down there. And I've got one for the other side too. There we go, a little bit of glue. Now we just took that end piece right on. Oh, I think I got my slides. Nope, it looks, it is good. We are good. All right. So there we go, we've got that in place and our base is good, oh yes. We have got our stage set for some frightful fun. Okay, so let's just move things around, make sure everything's good. All right, next, well, let's attach those window pieces. So I just wanna double check how this is going to work. That's gonna go right on here, perfect. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of hot glue on the back and then we're going to stick that right into place. So I'm just gonna run a little bit of a glue strand just around the edges of this window frame. There we go, don't need too much. And for the hot glue gun, I'm using the Sure Bonder fine tipped hot glue gun. That fine tip detailer piece is absolutely worth it. All right, so we're just gonna take this, I'm gonna line that up and stick it down. Very cool, and that's just adding a whole nother layer of depth and dimension to this piece. All right, now the other side. Getting the hot glue and just running that line all the way around the window frame. There we go, almost done. Good. And we'll just put this right in there. Oop. Uh oh, I'm a little bit off on this, but not a big deal. We should be able to pull that back and I'll just use the heat gun to do a little reset. Good news, that was very easy to pull up. So we're just going to readjust and place that down. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Okay. Whew. Oh, I got a little bit of the crackle peeling off, but it should be okay. All right making sure everything's good and stuck. Okay, ooh, that is looking so, so good. So the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to place our main focal point. So here we have that amazing snow globe. And that's just gonna go right, right here. That should be good. And we're just gonna turn that until I'm happy with the angle. Ooh, right there. And we're gonna take 
this, we're just going to set it off to the side for the moment. I'm going to hot glue the base of the globe onto the platform, and then we will start bringing in the rest of our props. All right. So, dome, hot glue, and I'm staying away from that wire. I do not want to get hot glue on the wire. We just want to get hot glue around the wire, because that would be very, very tragic if we happen to fry our circuitry before we can finish the project. That would just be horrible. So just being mindful of that wire and putting the glue on. Now we can place. Okay, yep, I want that right there. Is that nice and centered? Yes, it is. Good. Ooh, that base is pretty sturdy. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold that for a moment or two. Now for the wire, we're just going to turn this and we're going to just tuck the wire behind and I've got all sorts of cool stuff that can easily camouflage the wire that is currently sticking out. So that will be easy enough. All right, so that's solid-ish. We'll take it. Okay. So just picking this up and turning. So to keep this in place, I'm going to use a couple of foam squares. All right, foam squares, check. And this will be really easy to remove, like if I needed to do any maintenance on the lights or change out the batteries. So just making sure everything is in good place. And just stick that down. Now it's nice and out of the way. So turning back to the front, I guess the next thing would be to run our other set of lights. So let's go ahead and pull those out of the package and start threading. So our other sets of lights are going to be green. And we'll just quickly untangle these. It's all neatly wrapped at the moment. Now, I don't know about the rest of you, but it almost pains me to cut these, but that is what you're supposed to do. So we may be trimming off a few lights because we don't need all of these really. So let's see where we're at after I have the lights placed. These lights need to be able to light up our bubbling cauldron and our two ghost lights. So let's see what we can get placed. I'm gonna go ahead and put this part on fast forward as I start stringing the lights and settling them into place. lights are all taken care of. We're just going to wait a little bit before we hide this under the base, but we can start filling in the rest of our scenery. So we've got a cauldron bubbling over with fun bubbles. We've got our ghost lights in place. Our tree is ready to shine. Let's take a quick look at the cauldron and ghost lights. Ooh, that is a great glow. And we even have a little bit of an underglow down here. All right, let's go ahead and put the rest of our props in. I'm going to do a rough setup and then we'll put it on fast forward as we finish this project off. So we've got a whole bunch of tombstones that we can add. I'm just gonna put them in here and this is going to be forming our spooky backdrop. Okay, I love the tombstones. They are so funny. I still can't get over this one. Stupidity. That one is my favorite. All right, we'll just put these in. Okay, 
Let's see. If I tuck that one kind of back there, this one can go here. Put one of the little ones closer to the front. And that one, perfect. I am really, really happy with this. This setup is great. And we've had so many fun different ideology pieces to play with. I just love it. You alter the pieces and then you get to build your own customized scenes. It's just, it's really fun. All right, now I think we want some pumpkins in here. Yeah, that's good. Tuck that there. Maybe another little one down here. All right, happy with that. And over here, I think we're gonna place some candles. We altered some drippy candles. We made them way more spooky. Okay, that is good. Ooh, definitely loving the spookiness of this. And we have some other candles that we can just tuck in, and that's going to make a nice little spooky cluster. Okay, maybe I can bring this one forward a little bit. All right, all in all, not bad. Now we've got that little one here. And we've also got these really fun black roses. I thought these would just be a great addition to add just a little bit more to our spooky scene. Very, very cool. Okay. Thinking something like that. Ooh. Yep, really, really happy with this. Okay, and we're also going to be placing in that little paper doll as well. I think, let's see, where do I want her? I want her near the cauldron. Maybe in the pumpkin patch? Ooh, I like this. That is good. Okay, and I need, I think I want to bring the candles a little bit further forward. There we go. If I do that, let's see. I can take this one. If I took this one a little bit closer. That one there. All right. Maybe if I move this over there, and we can put this one right here. Ooh. Okay. That is looking great. So I'm going to start assembling this and we're also going to be tucking in some more bits of mossy pieces here and there just to fill this out. All right, let's go ahead and put this on fast forward for some spooky fun. Now that we're done assembling this spooky vignette, let's go ahead and take a closer look.
Thank you so much for joining me here today at the Crafty Corner for this frightful Halloween fun. This project was created to the theme of How Scary Was That for this week's Funky Junkie Inspiration Avenue. I hope that you've had fun with this frightfully delicious project. And until next time, happy crafting.